Hello guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. Thank you so much for watching. Um, today I'm working on a Hocus Pocus sketch um, that is, I'm going to go back and forth with watercolor and color pencils on this one. And you just saw me show you the first sketch I did of it. And I just kind of colored a little bit in very rough and loosely with some colored pencils. And then what I did is I photocopied that out of my sketchbook and enlarged it just, just a little tiny bit. And then I used um, the graphite transfer paper to get it onto this paper. Um, the paints I'm using are Jane Davenport paints. It is the bright set and the neutral set. And rather than keep them separate in the two different tins, I put them together in one tin so that I can use them together. And I, I just prefer doing that. Um, so yeah, so I'm just, you know, working slowly on layers. I, I love Hocus Pocus. I watch it pretty much every October around Halloween. It's kind of a family tradition. Um, and I just, I always love it. And last year I did a little sketch of Winifred that I thought was really cute. And so I wanted to do, um, a bigger one with all the sisters, but I waited too long. And then after Halloween, I just kind of wasn't in the mood, um, to draw it. And so now here we are in October and I wanted to go back to it and, and work on it. So I, I resketched it out and here I am, um, and just, just enjoying it. I, I think the Sanderson sisters are so much fun. They, they are, I love watching them and painting. It was really fun too. Um, I have to say Winifred is fun to work on. Her hair is just so much fun. Um, I, I just love them all. Like I, I, I have to say, I love, um, Sarah, uh, in the movie. She's one of my favorites. Um, but honestly for drawing her, she was least interesting to me. I, you know, it is probably just her hair cause it's just down, um, where the others have these really cool hairstyles, um, and stuff. So, so yeah, anyways, back to, to the painting and I'm just going really, really slowly here, adding, um, my flesh tones and trying to add some shadows in around the edges of the face and in the eyes. Um, and just kind of, building it up slowly. And it, it did take me a while. I worked on this over a few days cause I would paint on it for a while and then I'd leave it alone and let it dry and then come back in and, and add a little bit more. Um, and Mary's eyebrows, man, that one, I just kind of messed it up from the start. And I, I think I made it a little bit better later on, but just, it, it's still a little wonky, but that's okay. Um, I'm trying to go in here with a smaller brush just around the eyes and trying to add more detail because so much happens in the eyes and so it's just fun concentrating all that detail around them. Um, so here I am with the colored pencils adding more layers um, and more details and shadows and just continuing to build it up slowly um, and focusing on the eyes and uh, all the, the different shadings and tones and um you know I really liked the the dark eyes that Sarah had um so I spent the most time on her just adding it up and I used I used some black but I was trying to use some of like the like navy blues and, and dark purples so it wasn't just a flat black I really like adding um those cool color tones into my blacks um and here I am and I just keep going back and forth. I work on one and then start going over to the other and I go back and forth. And so I did the, the colored pencils for a while and I love using blues and purples for shadows. You, you see me with the light blue and the lighter purples, just going around the edge of the face and the, the necks and, and clothing line and everything. And then just adding a little bit darker, starting light, working darker, um, and yeah, so just going back to the flesh tones, going round and round. Um, but anyways, like I was saying earlier, Hocus Pocus is something I watch every Halloween. I just, 
it, at least one of the movies. There's a handful that I feel like I watch over and over again. It's the season for, you know, Ghostbusters and Nightmare Before Christmas. I love Tim Burton stuff this time of year. Um, and, you know, just, just several of them. It's so much fun. Uh, October with Halloween stuff. And then I also do Inktober, which I have. Um, I've been trying to record a little bit of that. So I have a few other video little snippets, com combinations of those, but they're, those I'm keeping really quick and, and loose. This one, I um, wanted to add a lot more detail and it's not ink. So uh, it was completely separate from that project. Uh, I just, I love watercolor and, and coming in. So I finished the details of the face. I had gone back in uh, with just a regular ink pen around the eyes and then a gel pen. I went in and added some highlights in Winifred's teeth because of course whenever she smiles her teeth are showing um, there still. And then I, I wanted more detail in the hair and I decided I wanted to do more watercolor with it um, before I went in with color pencils. So I came back in and just started adding some more details and colors and Sarah is adding the darker undertones of the blonde. Um, and then in, in Mary and Winifred's hair, adding a little bit more texture, um, with some other colors over the layer and the base layer of course was just more of a solid variegated. And then this, I went over and added more where you can see the individual brush strokes. And after I let that dry, this is probably the next day um, or so, I went back to it again with, with colored pencils again and just adding some more details um, into the hair and just adding, it, it adds more texture and a little bit more depth um, to it, makes it a little bit more interesting. And just, you know, like you see, just keep, keep building and adding various tones. Um, I love the little bits of purple in Mary's hair. Uh, I know her hair is that dark kind of black, but it's got some nice little purple tones in it. And then the clothing, I just added a little bit of shading. I tried to keep it really simple. Um, I wanted to add the texture of the colored pencils over it and um, just a few details. But again, I wanted the focus to be really on their faces, which I was pretty happy with um, already. So, so yeah, I'm just finishing it up here and I, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and enjoying your whatever Halloween traditions that you guys have. Um, so happy Halloween. Uh, thanks for watching and um, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.